here's a, a tip. Don't wait to get your eyebrows done because then this will happen. Well, I recently, not really recently, it was a while back. It was like two weeks ago or more, maybe three. I don't know. But I cut my hair. It's actually grown, but I cut my hair up to like here. Yeah, and then I got braces too. So that's new there. Anyway, so just to keep your hair just like numb frizzy and just smooth and all that, I'm just gonna say a couple tips that I use and I know that works um, to help you get soft, pretty hair. So the first step is gonna sound kind of weird, but my sister, she's a hairdresser and I guess she found this out from work or something, but you're gonna have to use a 100% cotton t-shirt to put your hair up when it's dry, when it's wet. So, you know the whole flip your hair down and whatever, whatever. Yeah, that thing. Ooh. Oops. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, and then tie it up. You know, whatever. Um, the thing is, if you use like a normal towel, towel, um, the the fibers in there or whatever make your hair frizzier, and frizzy is not cool. Okay, the next tip. Which, you know, is probably one of the easiest tips to follow. Is, um, is a leave-in treatment. So, um, this is a Rusk 12-in-1 Miracle treatment. I think I've used it a couple times. I mean, I really don't use it because this one, which is my favorite one, and I think... A lot of people have used this and they like it. It's the it's a it's a ten miracle product. So my mom has this one and it has keratin in it. Um, I think keratin is just like another thing to help enhance your hair better. I don't know, but yeah. So that's this one. And the original one is this one. It's just a purple one and it's just the Miracle Even product. And it has like all these 10 things in the back that help with your hair. And it works. The next tip, <laughs> can't even stop, is to always use heat protecting on your hair because that always will help stop any breakage or split ends from happening later on. And um, actually, if you're gonna, if you're planning on using or curling your hair the next day or whatever and take a shower before and use this this also has a heat protectant so that is also very good but you always have to remember to put a heat protectant i actually ran out my heat protectant but whatever kind works i'm pretty sure <laughs> okay this tip might sound a little like ew why would you do that or whatever um <laughs> anyways you need to not wash your hair every single day of the week because it just strips your hair from all the natural oils and it actually gives you really bad dry scalp and really, really, really bad. Just, just dries your hair out everywhere. So you take a shower like every day, like normal, but you don't wash your hair. And yeah, it might sound gross. And if you think it's gross, um, then like, I don't know, you can use dry shampoo, which helps your hair also with that, but yeah, you can use dry shampoo or whatever. And if your hair gets oily fast, then you can use dry shampoo in your roots. And also if you want more volume in your hair and you don't like if it's fine if you just wash it or whatever and you just want more volume in your hair, just use this and it gives you volume right away. So this next tip, I don't know. I sometimes I see a lot of people brushing their hair this way and I'm just like don't do that um um you never ever 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 start brushing your hair from the roots down you always start from the tips work your way up it helps your hair from not falling out as easily and you don't have to worry about your hair falling a lot or whatever while you take a shower because yeah okay <laughs> 
it's just one of those simple steps that a lot of people forget to do and it just yeah and the last step i think is the most obvious step that everyone tries to avoid is just to cut your hair regularly because um it just helps a lot and i know a lot of people are like i don't want to cut my hair because then they're gonna cut it really short or whatever it's whatever and i know what you mean my mom and my sister are hairdressers and every time i ask them to cut my hair it feels like they're cutting like every inch off my hair but honestly it just makes your hair feel way better after you trim it you don't have to cut like inches off you just need to cut some little bits of the dryness off and it just makes your hair feel way better and healthier and it will actually grow back faster i really do hope that helped you out with your little hair situation if you had any hair situation going on but yeah thanks for watching and i'll see you next time with another video probably about something really awkward and weird because i don't know what to do next bye <laughs> is this even